Tables can be a helpful way to display information in your LibGuide. It is very important to make sure that the tables are accessible by thinking through their design. This includes a title or a label for your table, as well as ensuring that your headers are marked as headers so that a screen reader understands how to present the information in your table. I will now demonstrate how to add a table properly in LibGuides. So step one is to add a box. And then add rich text or HTML. From here, you can see that we have an option to create a table and you can choose how many rows and how many columns. It is important to mark which are headers. So do you have first row, first column, or both? So if it is the first row, you can mark as such. Then it is important to um, change the class here. So we want to make sure that there are lines and you do this through table, table, border. Then click OK. This will create your table. So remember we have headers on our first row. And you can see here that it's already bolding those because it knows that those are our headers. We can fill in the rest of the information as such. Then we save and close. So what is important about tables is making sure that the text wraps correctly so that it is not exceeding the width of our box. You can check this by shrinking the size of your screen to make sure that the information still looks okay within your box. So now you can see here that our table looks okay um, in mobile view. So there is no weird text going outside of our box and you can clearly see the header of the table listed here.